Hey everybody, welcome back to Sounds Like a Drum, Kids Independent Media Production, Snare Spotlight Day. We're talking about this Jar Apply Drum from Evitz Drums. We here at Sounds Like a Drum are big fans of Australian drum makers. There's several that we love, and this is one that we're experiencing for the first time in person, really, Evitz Drums. They are located outside of Sydney, and they use indigenous woods like other companies have down there, Jara being one of them. I have some experience with Jara. I don't have a lot of experience with ply Jara drums. Oftentimes you see stave and different other kinds of construction. So this is a super exciting day for us here because this is kind of a, an unknown quantity that we're really excited to check out. First up, the specs. This is five and a half by 14, 10 ply, six millimeter, cold pressed shell. 10 lugs, tube lugs, uh, 2.3 millimeter triple flange hoops. We have a trick throw, we have 20 strand wires, and I'd say fairly normal 45 degree bearing edges on both sides with medium, just slightly wider than the lugs adjacent to the wires, snare beds. Additionally, we are topped with a Remo CS uh, coated reverse dot on the top, and we have an ambassador snare set on the bottom. Now what struck me first when I saw this, and I think uh, you may feel the same, is the finish. And the interesting thing is, it's not really a finish. This is actually just the color of the wood. It is this beautiful kind of mahogany tone on the inside and the outside as well. It has a super tough, sprayed on kind of satin finish to it. It feels almost like raw wood, but it's a little more protected than like an oil finish or something like that. But um, yeah, suffice to say, this isn't even a stain. This is actually just the wood. But the important part is, what does it sound like? We're gonna start out with a medium tuning and kind of start to check out what this thing can do. Now back in the day, I did have a ply Jara drum, which I loved, and a lot of the characteristics about that one are present here, which is to say, this is some pretty hard wood, it projects a lot, and for me, it kind of straddles the line between a sort of traditional wood sound and a little more bite and bark that you expect from a metal drum. It's also a little on the dry side, has some birch kind of vibes going on in it as well, but for a, <laughs> for a fairly thin ply shell, it is ridiculously loud, while at the same time being articulated low dynamics and just generally feeling good to hit. We are super pleased with the fit and finish of everything on here too. The edges are immaculate, the snare beds are immaculate, everything's aligned beautifully. It gives me like workhorse snare drum vibes, especially if you like something that has some warmth of wood but also has the ability to get super duper loud if you need to really cut through. Now, as we like to do here, we like to try out a few different tunings on any drum that we have through the studio, and this one being no exception, we're gonna try some low tunings now. It is a five and a half inch drum, but as you'll see, it doesn't mind a low tuning at all.
Center dot heads in general are great for lower tunings because of the added mass in the center. The CS is serving this drum really, really well. I adjusted the snare side head a little bit, but not a whole lot. It's basically just bringing it down into that kind of wider country where maybe if I was gonna record with this, I might use a little muffling or a wallet or something like that. But as you can see, pleasing overtones, big sound, a lot to work with. It's worth noting also that for tuning drums down super low like this, and it's true of a shallower or a deeper one, an amount of dryness in the fundamental behavior of the drum is actually really great because it means that you're gonna get a lot of punch when you hit the drum in the center without catching the rim, which is I think what a lot of us do when we go for this low kind of thing, and I know that I do. A little kind of cool hardware aside on this, um, some of my older drums, my Praviatos and stuff, have trick throws, but they're from, you know, over a decade ago. And these days, Trick is doing this beautiful thing of uh, building the mechanism so that you have two or three different locations to kind of click through that hold that different tension so you don't actually have to adjust the knob itself. And for this drum, it actually does really different stuff at different snare wire tensions. So using this kind of throw off where you can kind of have almost presets where one is maybe a little tighter than tight and then the lower one is a little looser than loose. Uh, is really, really awesome for getting a big kind of shift in the sound without actually having to change the tuning. Now, in my experience, Jara drums in general, they love a real high tuning. They like to cut, they like to project, they like to have a lot of sensitivity from the center to the edge when you're really kind of making them scream, you know, Spin Doctors vibes, lots of different things like that where it's about a short, tight sound. And incidentally, this drum showed up tuned basically like I've got it tuned now, which does lead us to believe that um, the guys at Evitt's they, they know what it can do up there. You can definitely get this drum into a range and a behavior that would almost make you think it was a 13 or a 12 without actually having to tune it up that tight. It's by no means choked out. It feels good, it bounces nice, it's got tone, the wires are moving, It's it feels really good. But because of the nature of the wood and the construction and the edges put together, it behaves beautifully even when it's tuned, you know, real tight. The hardness of this wood is really what's giving us these behaviors at these tunings. There's a reflectivity, there's a stiffness, there's a kind of just general bark in this kind of construction that it's kind of specific to this sort of wood. And it allows you to also have a shallower drum, a thinner shell, a sharper edge, which, you know, traditionally speaking, would lead you to a different sort of sound than this, but when you place them all on this type of wood with the cold press construction and all of that, you end up with something that can get the bark of a metal drum at these higher tunings, the fatness of maybe an aluminum drum at the lower tunings, and then pretty much exactly what you'd want for a mid tuning where there's a little bit of that metallic component there, but you've got tons of warmth and the same sort of like punch and shortness of a hardwood drum. Generally, when we look at drums here and, and check them out and everything, we try to go through a bunch of tunings. We also look at the cross stick sound. And for me, you know, some people lean toward die cast hoops. Some people like certain sizes or depths of drums for this kind of thing. For me, a five and a half with triple flange, 2.3 millimeter kind of standard hoops. That's my favorite because I want a woody sound that's also going to project. I don't want it to be too punchy or too short, but just like a natural clicky warm sound. And I mean, this is crushing it. It's worth noting also that depending on how the drum is tuned, you're gonna get slight variations to the cross stick sound. My favorite cross stick sound is from a fairly high tuned drum and this is delivering. Incidentally, 
This very drum, by the time you see this video, will be available for sale at Philadelphia Drum Shop. And uh, if it's still there <laughs> when you see this video, uh, snatch it up. And if it's not, contact Brandon there and tell him that you're interested in more because he is officially now dealing in these drums. And they don't just do Jara, they do Spotted Gum, they do other things. Uh, Evitz makes a wide variety of stuff from the indigenous hardwoods that they have down there in Australia. All right, that about wraps it up. Thanks for coming with us on this journey with this rad snare drum. Uh, thanks so much to Evid Drums for sharing this with us and, and also Brandon at, at Philadelphia Drum Shop for helping us get it here. Um, we had a ton of fun with it. It does a lot of things uh, and I love them all. <laughs> also, if you happen to be a drum builder and you're interested in having your drums checked out, showcased, <laughs> run through everything here by us, you can reach us in the about section of our channel in the business contact portion and Tell us all about what you're doing, what you're building. We're always interested in new drums. We're always interested in checking them out. And um, yeah, you can reach us there. And lastly, we would love to know your experiences with Jara in general, because we've had a few drums through here that are like that, that all have kind of different construction components. And particularly if you have any experience with Evitz drums, because this is our first one seeing it. We know that there are a lot of other woods out there, and sizes and all those sorts of things. Um, and if you have had more experience with that, let us know in the comments, we're super curious.